like going wild, thinking this is like some big thing. This is not a big thing, Nicole. This is an administrative stay. This is not Trump winning his stay motion on his gag order. All the court is saying is, look, we need time to evaluate what to do here. And so while we're reading the papers and everything, we're just freezing what lawyers call the status quo, just freezing everything in place. And so not giving uh, the gag order Purchase legal effect for this moment. The court very clearly says that, quote, this should not be construed in any way as a ruling on the merits of Trump's motion to relieve the, to relieve the gag order. The court sets oral argument for November 20th. So it's possible that we'd have to wait until then before the gag order is fully uh, lifted, uh, the gag order is put back in place. But I suspect, you know, on November 20th or nearby, that gag order is going back into effect because the number one witness uh, for why Donald Trump's motion should fail is a guy named Donald Trump. Everything he's done, whenever it is lifted, is just generates evidence for why you need the gag order in the first place. The filings that have been made on the part of Special Counsel Jack Smith's office um, enumerate the, the the attacks, the smears. Um, Chris Krebs is mentioned. Um, Rusty Bowers is mentioned. Shea Moss and Ruby Freeman are mentioned. And the the result and the.